Welcome back. Myself Sumala Virada. In this video, let's focus on assertion, triggers and views. So assertion, it is used for specifying the constraints and actions for specifying the constraints after specifying what are the actions you want to perform on those constraints. If it is not followed, then what action you have to specify, that is what we call as a triggers. Semantic constraints, the semantic constraints are following are behind the scope of the EER and relational model. So create assertion is the command which is used for create the assertion. So assertions are used for which purpose to specify the constraints and after specifying that constraint if it is not follow. So if any errors occurs then you have to perform some action that action we call as trigger and that one it is created using create trigger command. Create assertion command is used okay to specify the additional types of constraints outside scope of built in relational model constraints. You already know that primary key, foreign key, all these are the built-in constants. Other than that, according to the application requirement, if you want to specify your own constants as it is possible with the help of the create assertion. Next is to specify automatic actions that database system will perform when certain events or conditions occurs. To perform certain events, okay. So, and conditions if it has occurred, then to specify what action you have to, per, okay, takes place, that is what we call as a create trigger. Specifying general constraints as assertion in SQL. So, as I told, create assertion is the statement which is used to specify the constraints here. This is one example which is used to specify that query, okay, which selects any tuples that violate the desired condition. So here create assertion is the statement and for that assertion if you want to specify any name as yes, you can give the name here I given the name as the salary constraint and check not exist. So not exist is one of the function select star from employee E and employee M department D where E dot salary is greater than M dot salary and these tables are related using the condition. What is that condition? DNO, E dot DNO equal to D dot T number and D dot manager SSN equal to M dot SSN. So this query you are written for which purpose? To check that salary of the employee. Okay. If you take the salary of the employee, not employee salary is greater than manager salary. So if the salary of the employee is greater than the salary of the manager, then you have to do the thing is what? You have to check whether it is exist or not. So if it is exist, then not exist condition returns what here? It returns false here. Okay. So if it is not exist, then not exist condition returns true. So this is the assertion you are using for that purpose. So usually in general case, we use the simple check to specify the individual attributes and domains constraints here. Okay. So for specific domain and for specific constraints, if you want to specify, then it is possible with the check only. So like this, if you want to specify any semantic constraints, it is possible with the create assertion. Next is create trigger statement used to monitor the database while making transaction you have to monitor the database to monitor that you are performing with the help of create trigger statement here. So in typical trigger has three components which make it a rule for an active database. These are the rules one is the events so any transaction if it is performed that is we call as an event. And condition, you have to specify the condition for those events. If condition is not satisfied, then you have performed the action. These are the three rules you are using while performing the trigger here. Next, use of triggers. This is one example with standard syntax. Okay, what is that? Create trigger salary violation. So if it violates, what action you have to perform here? So before that, insert or update of salary super SSN on employee. So here you are performing what it is. You have to insert or update before insert or update operations of the salary. Okay. For each row when new dot salary is greater than select salary from employee where SSN equal to new dot super SSN. Inform supervisor that is new dot super 
visor dot ssn comma new dot ssn here so these are the events and this events you can perform with the help of what use of triggers here and here while inserting the new salary or while making the update salary you are performing the condition what is that condition salary new salary if it is greater than the salary of who so that is the from employee table so where you are making calculation here so here you are performing or checking the salary of the supervisor here okay so that new salary if it is greater than the supervisor salary then you have to inform the supervisor of this is it clear now? okay this is about your triggers next is views virtual tables in sql single table derived from other tables are called defining tables and considered to be virtual table that is not necessarily populated so it is temporary table to perform according to user requirement if you perform some action and frequently if you want to retrieve the data from multiple tables so in that situation all those multiple tables you can combine as a virtual table it is temporary table and you can access directly with the help of that virtual table this is the specification of views in SQL that is create view command. This command is used to create a view. It is given a table name, contains table name, attribute names and query to specify the contents of the view. What actually want to view that specify, you have to specify the query here. This is one example. Here create view, create view is used for which purpose to create the commands and you are giving the name for the view as a works on as select f name l name p name and hours these are the attributes of virtual table as a view from employee project and works on so where ssn equal to essn and pn equal to p number so now here i am combining the three tables and i am retrieving the attributes by selecting actually this type of the attributes you are required frequently you want to retrieve the information as a f name l name p name and hours and this hours attribute belongs to works on and p name is the attribute belongs to project and f name and l name attributes belongs to employee if you want to retrieve this one then every time you have to specify all these tables along with the attributes and where class condition you have to specify instead of doing this if you are create the view like this works on for further continuation of accessing this information simply use as a table name as a works on so in the place of employee and project and works on so you can specify the view as a works on one here and that much is enough okay so for that purpose you are going to use this create view command here and this is one more example create view department info that contains what department info is the new view as a virtual table and attribute names also you are renamed as a dpt name number of employees and total salary select as select from okay this is the procedure create view table name as keyword select d name count star sum salary from department and employee where d number equal to dno and group by d name okay so department name you have to group according to the group department name and and each department how many employees are working and what is the total salary that type of the information if you want to retrieve frequently so instead of writing this query every time repeatedly only once you create a view wherever you require just to specify the name of the view here okay then it retrieve the what information you want to get specification of views in sql so views is always up to date here so now as i told here it is virtual table so always it is up to date so in permanent and basic table what are the informations you will update now it is automatically reflects in your virtual table also after completing your work you can also drop the views using one of the command that is drop view command and this command is used to delete the View, whichever you are created using the create view command and that one you whenever you want to delete as yes, you can delete here and one thing you remember it is temporary table as a virtual table so that's why here thing is what it is so once if you are create the virtual table after that if you are make the modification in the basic table those things are not reflect in your virtual table that's why you have to keep your views up to date that is the responsibility of the DBMS, not the user here. Okay. So this is about your views.
Thank you.